So all my ink pieces start with a black wash. That's a Bombay India ink. I get that shit at Hobby Lobby. I get everything from Hobby Lobby for the most part. Um, I got my supplies down pat at this point. That uh, white I'm using is from the dollar store. It's a generic brand. It works fine. I mostly use it for drawing over old drawings because that layer of workable fixative that will will put on this thing before it gets scanned uh, makes it somewhat difficult to use gel pens on so the white out adds a, a little bit of coarseness to the to the paper that's a black bic pen on the side get those in packs of 20 or so for pretty cheap these uh, white gel pens that I'm using right now, th those are Sakuras, they're from Hobby Lobby as well. I get the the size 8s. The 10s are bigger, sometimes I'll buy those. The 5s are way smaller, sometimes I'll buy those, but not too often. Most times, I'll be stocked up on these 8s, because you know, they're just more versatile. Though the 5s are good for, for smaller pieces. And the tens, you know, they could do this part of, of of the process a little bit quicker, but you're gonna be using a lot more ink. Um, I think that this part is probably the most important if you're drawing for anxiety reasons. Like this, this will put you in that uh, that flow state. Time just kind of passes by fairly quickly, and um, you know it's a good workout for your right hand. Uh, most of my drawings are done this way, so there's a lot of a lot of time, a lot of uh, fine muscle development in my right hand, and that 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 type of control I'm sure can only be a good thing. Um, get your shit strengthened up, strengthened up, whatever. Um, this is diluted India ink. Diluted with water, how much water to ink, I, I don't know, but it's it's heavily diluted. What we're trying to do is uh, trying to get to the point where we can start seeing some, some sort of image in the squiggles. See, I, I don't understand artists that can pick up a, a clear piece of paper and then make something. It, it, that makes no sense to me. I don't understand it. What I'm doing is uh, you know, pattern recognition. If you watched, if you've watched a couple of these, you'll you'll know there's an aha moment in, in my process where the primary focal point of the painting will just pop out at some point, and then we'll go through and bring that out, and then address the issue of the background. And um, it's the only way I know how to do it. I think the process is way more important than the final result uh, because I, I draw, like I said, to, to help with anxiety and uh, you know, building the, these textures up, I think, is uh, it's a good waste of time. Uh, I'm a passive learner, so if I'm listening to podcasts or lectures, then uh, it's going to be difficult for me to put all my focus on what I'm listening to. So doing this just helps absorb whatever the hell I'm listening to. Uh, I also do this a lot when I'm watching movies. Uh, get through a lot of crummy horror movies by doing this. Here we are, we're, we're just looking for a pattern. It's going to take forever. Which, which you're not seeing is... Uh, I, there, there's periods of 5 to 10 minutes where I, I don't even... I don't even put my pen down on the canvas because there's no... I, I just can't see anything. And it's going to be a little bit difficult moving forward because normally I would be drawing with this thing on my lap. And I have a little bit more freedom. So I'm looking at this paper at an angle. So it's kind of screwing me over. But not the biggest 
problem to have. I'm pretty sure we could work around that. And uh, I'll get used to it in time. And what you're going to see pretty soon, not, not too soon, but in a little while, is that I end up cutting this paper in half. Well, not in halves, probably. I take a third off with the scissors. And that's because this, uh, this big of a work surface is kind of intimidating. Um, I, I've done that plenty of times. Sometimes I'll, I'll cut the paper like in fourths and uh, manage to pull something good out. But the smaller the paper size, the more fine of pen you'll need. Uh, it's tricky, but once you get a feel for it, and it'll take time. Um, I've been doing this now for a little while. I started drawing in August of 2019, I think. Nope, 2018. So this is me about a year and a half in. And it took a while to, to really build it up, but it's all been the same basic process. Uh, when I first started, I was using I was using uh, pencils and pen on, on paper. But somewhere along the way, I, I jumped over to doing white pens on black paper. And it's been working wonders. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ubercult has a has a big hand in that. I'm a big fan of his work. Uh, check him out on Instagram. Uh, Ubercult. I think it's V B E R K V L T. He has a different style though. Uh, a lot more primitive. And uh, I've seen a little bit of his uh, clips of how he does his stuff, and it's a completely different process. Um, seems as though he draws his figures and then and fills them in uh, from kind of like a more of a pointillist more of a pointillist style so I, I gave up completely on, on whatever the fuck I was trying to make right there and I'll do that plenty um, both of my drawing and my painting uh, I think having layers of of drawings or layers of, of, of paintings under your final image gives a lot of character to the to the last piece. I think it's all necessary. Uh, you could probably make a parallel to to some life nonsense right there, you know. But I'm not I'm not really in the mood to wax poetic. So we found the image. That's it, right there, that's the face. And we're just gonna bring it out. Uh, truth be told, I'm, I'm not that proud of this particular piece. It's good, don't get me wrong, I, I like it. For, you know, the hour and 20 minutes we put into it, it looks, it looks fine. But, we could do better. And to be honest with you, I'll probably end up going over this drawing again. And there's a good chance I'll film it so you can see how far we take this. A lot of my drawings, a lot of my paintings are, are done over old pieces. You know, nothing's ever ever finished. For the most part, you know. Uh, you're going to have to get a good intuition for, for that type of thing. And uh, for me, there's been a lot of mile markers along, along my little journey here. Where... Uh, where your skill just goes up and you know when you're good when a, when a piece is finished like you'll just know it and um, you'll carry that over to all your pieces for me you know I think these uh, I don't necessarily like the placement of this figure I feel like uh, with these portrait style ones they should be a little closer to the middle than where it's at right now um not a fan of when 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 the, when the main focal point is, you know, uh, too close on the face. Like it, it just doesn't have that right harmony. Uh, what we're gonna do soon here is uh, we're go over the whole background with uh, dark India ink, and then what you're gonna see is that all that time we put in to making the texture, all those indentations from from our pens. Like, that's still going to be visible, even if it's black. Like, it's still going to have that texture. It's still going to work its 
it's still gonna add to the overall piece and uh the more time goes by i i try to incorporate more negative space into my ink pieces you know letting a piece breathe can work just as well as as covering the whole damn thing and nonsense it, it takes a little it takes a different way of thinking to, to do it the negative piece angle though um, but yeah this thing's pretty much done what we'll do I, I don't film is we'll hit this up with some workable fixative and then that will uh, see the sheen coming from that big pen that's primarily why we use the workable fixative because that that, that, that silver not that silver but that glossy shiny uh, ink will get cut down a lot by the workable fixative and then the scanner will be able to pick it up without and we put through some post processing and GIMP um, adjust the curves adjust the levels adjust the contrast and um, yeah that, that's that uh, but really I just wanted to give you guys a feel for the for the process and um, you know we'll get some more videos out sooner or later peace